And welcome to week number nine of Night of Champions. Let's just get right into the show. There's no introduction. We had an amazing pay-per-view event last week called Clash of Champions, where we had a bunch of belts change hands, including the Night of Champions belt, which now belongs to Big Van Vader. Spider-Man held on to the Intercontinental Championship belt for Superhero Smackdown, and Superman... Gives up the belt to Aquaman in Superhero Smackdown, which is starting right after this. So let's get right into the show. Tonight we have a handicap match. Two on one. Typhoon versus the British Bulldog and Jerry the King Lawler. We have Brett the Hitman Hart versus his brother Owen Hart. Randy Macho Man Savage has something to say to the crowd. Then we have tag team action. Hawk and Animal, the Road Warriors. Meet the uh, Rock and Roll Express. We got Chris Jericho meeting Scott Hall tonight. One half of the Outsiders. Then we have Ric Flair meeting Rhino. And then for our main event, we have the Iron Sheik versus the Ultimate Warrior. Welcome to week nine. Night of Champions. Let me make sure my mic is on. Right. If you're new to the show, new to the channel, I'd like to welcome you. I am the Grumpy Gamer. And you are watching Twitch TV Lodo 72, and we're in Alamogrado, New Mexico. Tonight we have a handicap one on two tag team. I will be a uh, uh, typhoon about that. I'll try to take on these two dudes. Welcome to today's broadcast. This is the ninth week of wrestling. I've been streaming for nine weeks. I am a noob. I do own a media company and I do stream for a living, but not video games. This is just my hobby. So if you're joining me, grab a cup of coffee, grab a beer, some roll of blunt, and enjoy the, tonight's matchup. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Norfolk, Virginia, Weighing in at 383 pounds, Thumper. It's Thumper. Some people know him as Tugboat. Some people know him as Typhoon. He is one half of the Natural Disasters. His tag team partner being Earthquake, who's not present tonight. Typhoon meeting royalty against the British Bulldog and King Jerry Lawler. First to come to the ring. And his Sounds opponent. Like the European champion, British Manchester, Bulldog. England, weighing in at 256 pounds, the European champion, the British Bulldog. He is the European champion, Knight of Champions. He has yet to put up the belt or defend it in any form or fashion. See some fans in the crowd sporting some Jake the Snake Robert t-shirts. Some Jake the Snake fans in the crowd. I don't think he'll be making an appearance tonight.
Oh, here comes the Bulldogs tag team partner. And his partner. From Another Memphis, man of royalty, Tennessee, Jerry the King Lawler. Weighing 236 pounds, Jerry the King Sawyer. Jerry the King Sawyer. I guess Lawler wasn't in the names. <laughs> so if you're new to the show or new to the channel, this is a show <coughs> of classic wrestlers from the 80s and 90s. As you can tell by my gray beard, I am an old school gamer. Probably old enough to beat your dad. Got a special handicap match for you tonight. Let's see who's going to start. British Bulldog's going to start against Typhoon. He stops Typhoon early. Oh, and clothesline them right into the corner. Typhoon goes for a grab and misses. Oh, nice backbreaker on the Bulldog. Typhoon tries to stomp him, but gets a reversal by the Bulldog. Now the Bulldog slamming Typhoon's head to the mat. Oh, and a big forearm to the back by the Bulldog. Oh, and now he tags his partner, Lawler. King comes in, goes to the top rope. Oh, and comes down hard on Typhoon. Typhoon's having trouble reversing these moves. Now he caught him. One tight one picks him up and slam down with one arm. Lawler might be in trouble now. The big man decides to sit on him. He's going for a Boston Crab. Oh, Jerry gets the roll break. A typhoon with an epic offense. Goes for another Boston Crab. And again, Lawler gets the rope break. Picks Lawler up and side slams him. Typhoon takes care of the British Bulldog. Now goes for a pin on Lawler. And he gets a one count. Typhoon is just cleaning house. You make him some more. Nope. Lawler breaks out of the hole and side legs is, uh, leg sweeps him. Oh! Typhoon couldn't reverse it. Typhoon. There's no way he's going to climb the rope. Oh, Lawler with a poke to the eyes. Going to reverse neck breaker. That could be it for Typhoon. I don't know. Lawler tags British Bulldog. Bulldog goes for a pin. Oh, and Typhoon gets a two count. Side buster by Typhoon. Whoa, and a standing buster by Typhoon. Oh, now Bulldog puts Typhoon over the rope. Oh, Bulldog slams 
Typhoon against the apron. Three. Typhoon looks like he's out cold. Oh, Typhoon gets a one count. Bulldog gets a one count. Nice Typhoon. Looks like his finishing move, folks. Oh, and a big power slam. Typhoon goes for the pin. Oh, he almost gets it on the Bulldog. Big elbow drop on the Bulldog's back. Typhoon has an epic assault. Oh, and a big elbow drop by Typhoon. Goes for another pin. Oh, and he gets a rope break. What's Typhoon getting ready to do? Punches the big man down. Goes for another pin. No, couldn't do it. It's a one count on the European champ. European champ comes back with an elbow. Oh! Pushes the big man down. What? What's he doing? He's dragging him into his corner. Now he's going for a comeback. Goes for the pin. Couldn't capitalize. The British Bulldog making up. He's making a comeback now. What? Oh, big overhead slam. Good for the champ. Goes for cover. Do it. Looks like he's getting hyped up, folks. What's he doing? Typhoon. Another rope break by the Bulldog. Typhoon's getting sick of this. Goes into the middle of the ring. Man, what's Typhoon got to do? Goes to the top rope. Splash down, that's gotta be it, folks. European champ is saying no. And Typhoons looks like he's going for a backbreaker. Can't do it. Picks him up and slams him down. Lawler's in trouble. Oh, and a big splash by Typhoon. No, he couldn't do it. He's going for a charge finisher. This could be it for Lawler. Oh, he grabs him by the back of the neck. Face slams. And down in the lane. That's it, Typhoon wins. Here is your winner, Sumper. Say hello to the queen, mate. Typhoon defeats King Lawler and... Oh, that was amazing. And the British Bulldog, that was so amazing. We're on to the next match of the night, folks. Ooh.
This family has some heated trouble. We've got Brett the Hitman Hart versus Brother Owen in a rivalry match. Who's going to win this heated heart heart battle? Brett's coming out with his manager, Jimmy Hart. Maybe he could run some interference on the outside of the ring. Who knows? Thanks for joining me, folks. If you're new to the channel, be a follower. If you missed the other weeks, you can watch them on YouTube at Cinemagician Films. We're in week nine. Last week, we had an awesome pay-per-view, Clash of the Champions, where Big Van Vader won the belt from Hulk Hogan. Making his way to the ring. One half of the tag team champions. From Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, one half of the world tag team champions, Brett the Hitman Hart. Brett Hart, one half of the tag team champions, Hart Foundation, making his way to the ring to face off against his brother Owen in an epic rivalry against brothers. Owen is pissed off, tired, living in Brett's shadow. Crowd is definitely and upset with Owen, not happy. From Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 228 pounds, Owen Hart. Custom made wrestler by you guys. Thank you. Fans are not happy that Owen Hart picking a fight with his brother Brett. Sometimes when you're in a family, that's how it goes. Not everybody gets along. And these two definitely do not. Jim Neidhart choosing to stay out of it by staying backstage. Jimmy Hart coming out here. Brett gets the upper hand in the opening hold. Oh, and shoulder checks his brother. Brett Hart, the excellence of execution. Oh, and his brother with a nice reversal. See some nice technical wrestling from these two. Ooh, Brett with a nice slam. Brett looks like he's taunting his brother. Looks like Owen's gonna get out of it. Oh! Owen with a nice move. Brett. Oh, Brett catches his leg. Some great technical wrestling from these two. Oh, and another reversal with a couple. Nice. Shaping to be up, shaping up to be a great match, dude. These two are like amazing. Oh, Back. oh 
Oh, man. Acting and reacting. Look at this. Oh, another great move by Brett. Now he goes to the second rope. Oh. Oh, Owen with a quick pin. And he almost gets his brother in a quick pin. Sneaky. Taunting his brother again. Oh, what's this? Oh, and a reverse neck breaker. And he rolls him over. He's going to go for a pin. Oh, oh and nice reversal by Owen. Oh, and a nice spin kick. Ref hesitates on the count. Oh, and Brett kicks out on a one count. One is not happy with that. Uh oh, Owen setting him up. Oh, and a tombstone pile driver. It could be it for Brett Hart. I don't know. There's another pin. Oh, Brett kicks out. Not even getting a one count. Owen looks pissed. Waiting for Brett. Ooh. Brett takes the kick. Oh, Owen flips him over. Now what's he going to do? Brings him over to the rope. He's setting him up. Uh-oh, looks like he's going to put on the sharpshooter. Brett could be in trouble. He's using his own move. Nope. Brett, the excellence of execution, knows how to do that move. Oh, Owen just reversed it. Oh, and he... Oh, Brett Hart barely escapes that move. Stunned. He can't believe it. Picks Brett up again. Oh, now he whips him into the ropes. Oh, and he tosses Brett out of the ring and dives. Head first. Oh, God, that was an amazing move by Owen Hart. Owen oh, reverses it. He's not letting his older brother get away with shit. Oh, big drop kick. Oh, Brett can't do it. Oh, I don't want to count out. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Taking some serious punishment from his brother. Whoa, Owen! Trying a dirty pin. Brett rolls out of the ring. Now Brett goes for the sharpshooter. What? Oh, Owen gets a rope break. Brett goes for a pin the old fashioned way. Oh, can't do it. Owen Hart.
with a nice reversal, trips him up. Oh, and a running lariat. Goes for a pin. Oh, Owen Hart not giving up. Again, he misses. Oh, Owen with a nice. What's he doing now? He looks like he's going to the top rope. Congrat, reverse it. Uh oh, moonsault. Oh, he lands it. Oh, and Brett doesn't even give him a count. Wow. Owen, now he's going to Extreme Tactics. He's took off the turnbuckle. Now Brett charging up to do his finisher. Looks like the sharpshooter. Oh, they're too close to the ropes. And another rope break by Owen. Just Brett right in the balls. Owen oh, Hart gets the victory with a low blow to the nut sack. It was an epic match, folks. They went back and forth, so technical. It was amazing. Go back and watch that on replay at youtube.com slash cinemagicianfilms. That was epic. Well, that feud's not going away, folks. This is going to be a long rivalry between these two, I can tell. Little brother Owen gets the win. He had to punch him in the nuts to do it. Oh, that was a great end of the match. Here is your winner, Owen Hart. Unbelievable. Computer cheats, folks, and that's proof right there. You want proof that the computer cheats? There it is. Savage came out to talk some shit. Steamboat answered back, and then Savage headbutted him in a sneak attack, took him out. That rivalry is definitely not over, folks. Next up, we got the Road Warriors versus the Rock and Roll Express. Hawk and Animal versus Jerry and Brian, I think their names are. I don't know who the F Rock and Roll Express are. They're ahead of my time. Yes, kids, believe it or not, I was a kid once. <laughs> and some of these wrestlers are before my time. But not hawking animal. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 575 pounds, Paul and the animal, the road warriors. Hawking animal, the road warriors, making their way down to the ring. Well, guys, sometimes streaming is not what it's cracked up to be, especially when you deal with Spectrum. And their opponent, at a combined weight of 469 pounds, Ricky Morton and Robert Gibson, 
the Rock and Roll Express. It's not an exact science. In fact, it downright sucks. Hawking Animal wasting no time. Dead rest right off the bat. <coughs> oh, we're going after Ricky <coughs> and Rob. in the neck. Ricky Morton. Oh, and a big standing elbow drop. Oh, now the big man goes to the second rope. Oh, and slams down with a headbutt. Goes for an early pin. The road wires might make Quick work of the Rock and Roll Express here. Ricky Morton's not looking so good. He needs to make a tag. Oh, Walk tags Animal again. Oh, picks him up. Oh, turns him around. Martin took advantage of that showboating. Nice. Oh, tried to make the tag, but he find the rope instead. His partner Hawk. Hawk comes in. Oh, Robert. Nice. A couple of reversals and strikes of his own. Oh! Whips Hawk into the, into the ring. Tags his partner. Oh, and they go up to do a double team. Looks like he's in big trouble. Oh, he goes for a pin. No, Hawk does not let him get a count. Oh, Ricky's picking up Hawk. Oh, he whips Hawk into the corner. Oh, and a big clothesline in the corner. Oh, Hawk 
got his teeth knocked out, I think. Again, he gets whipped into the corner. Oh. Like he's doing some kind of arm hold. Uh-oh. Hawk getting ready for a big suplex. Swinging net breaker. See that on replay. Bobby nearly takes Hawk's neck off. Uh oh, he's going for a pin. No. Not going to happen. Bobby Gibson looks upset, looks frustrated. Hawk just can't reverse any moves. Gibson just taunting in the corner. Oh, to his own detriment. Oh, Animal needs to make a tag. Goes for the pin. Oh, and another snapmare. Oh, 
Hawk trying to... Oh, and he gets ripped from the corner. Oh, and he moves right out of the last minute. Finishing move, oh! Power slam, oh, that's it, folks. We might be in some trouble. Beat the Rock and Roll Express. Oh, you can't can't withstand two power bombs. I don't even know what that move's called, but it was devastating. He got two of them in a row. That was amazing, folks. Here are your winners, Hole and the Animal, the Road Warriors. Hawk and Animal, the Road Warriors. Pull out the win. Another amazing four-star match in week number nine. So I'm going to be Chris Jericho. I met Chris. No, well, I didn't meet him, but I saw him at a wrestling match one time because he's one of my favorite wrestlers. And I said, I was sitting in the second row. This is a true story. I was sitting in the second row with my brother and my friend Gary. And we were watching the wrestling match, and I yelled out, Go, Chris Jericho! And he turned around and yelled, Shut up, you idiot! And everybody laughed. And that's my story. J time. Making his way to the ring from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Uh oh, you knew the outsiders are up to no good. Pounds. Oh, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash come out here to attack Chris Jericho. happen here. Oh, they're near the stretcher. Scott Hall just assaulting Jericho. And the outsiders. Oh, Chris Jericho with an attack of his own. Jericho taking on both Scott, both the outsiders. Oh, the Scott Hall. Oh. Oh, Jericho is going to try to slam him on the table, it looks like.
This is, will this ever get to the ring? Oh my God, this is just never getting to the ring, folks. Oh, they just attack Jericho and leave him there. breaks it up. This match doesn't even start. This is definitely a rivalry heating up, though. Outsiders came in and just attacked Chris Jericho. Next up. Next up, it's Ric Flair versus Rhino. World Champion, a Knight of Champions. This is not for the belt. This is not for the title. It's the Nature Boy. Style and profile. Now comes his opponent, hardcore champion. From Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 295 pounds, Rhino! It's the biscuit eating Rhino. Look how disproportionate that man is. He's like a barrel. He's the biscuit eating Rhino. He got busted up a few times a few weeks back and then tried to make a comeback and Rowdy Piper put an end to it. Now he's against Ric Flair, the Nature Boy, for a non-title match. See what he can do. Oh, whoa, comes out strong against the Nature Boy. These two trading punches. Oh, and Flair picks the big man up. Gets the advantage. Flair, the dirtiest player in the game. Crowd going. Flair taunting him. Breaks his eyes. Oh! Big DDT, snap there, or snap DDT or something. <laughs> Flair ducks. Ducks the clothesline. Oh, and a nice reversal by Flair.
Flair working on his neck and back. Oh, Rhino gets out of it. Rhino got Flair in the corner. Picks him up, puts him on the top rope. Oh, and Flair with a nice reversal. Oh, and Rhino catches the midair. Now what's he gonna do? Oh, he slams him down. Probably breaking Flair's back on that one. Goes for a pin. It's a one count on the champ. Oh, he gets it. Oh, and a nice clothesline by Rhino. Knocks the champ down. Oh, and a big headbutt. Rhino's got the champ in a bad way. They're knocked out. Don't know where he is. <clears throat> Rhino circling the ring like a shark. Oh, and he picks Slam Flair up and slams him face first into the mat. Flair grabs Rhino's fat leg, sausage leg, to make a sausage stew. Serve it up with some biscuits. Flair, Flair pacing back and forth. What's he gonna do? Looks like he's going for his finisher. Softened up his leg and he's got it. He's got the figure four. Make, oh, and he makes Rhino tap out. There, master of the figure four. Rhino taps out in a submission. Champions, champion. Rhino, you might have to quit, buddy. Poor Rhino, he just can't catch a break. I think this is the final match of the night, folks. Iron Sheik versus Ultimate Warrior. Iron Sheik pulled off an upset win against uh, Sergeant Slaughter in the very first pay-per-view at the Royal Rumble. Then epic steel cage match. Go back and watch that. It was near week four. But uh, they had an epic cage match, and uh, Iron Sheik ended up winning, defeating Sergeant Slaughter, ending the rival. Main event of the night. Making his way to the ring from Tehran, Iran, weighing in at 200. And here comes the ultimate pounds, warrior. Iron Sheik. Oh, and he misses. Iron Sheik was oblivious. Warriors face into the floor. Warriors plan of attack apparently didn't work. Oh, Sheik runs him into the steel barricade. Ultimate Warrior. Oh, and a 
Atomic drops him. a lot of energy. Iron Sheik knows it. One, two. Oh, he almost gets a three count. Iron Sheik visibly upset. Warrior rolls out of it. Scoops him up. Slams him down. Oh, Warrior flexes for the crowd. He's getting hyped up. Oh, Iron Sheet comes back with a flurry of punches. Oh, and a headbutt. Just a maniac, folks. down. Oh, and a big splash by the warrior. Right in the middle of the ring. Can't do it. Iron Sheik. Big splash. Oh, that could be it for the Iron Sheik. One, two, three, three. 
And the Ultimate Warrior comes out with the W, folks. Thus ending week nine. Here is your winner, champions. the Superstar Ultimate. Ultimate Warrior. it folks great match to end the night thank you for joining me if you missed the show watch it again on youtube.com cinemagician films aka Lodo film unlimited media this is grumpy gamer at twitch tv Lodo 72 thank you for joining me up next is superheroes smackdown don't miss it thank you for watching